Hey YouTubers, welcome back to our Desert Have a Garden. It is August 25th and today is supposed to be the coolest day we've had in a really long time. The high today is predicted to be 102 degrees. So I'm going to do some much needed yard cleanup here. The gardens are overgrown and we're really not producing anything. The eggplant is still producing. Let's see if we can find that under there. Where is it? There's one there, and it has more flowers. So we're still getting some eggplants. We've already gotten four out of it. And the okra, you can see, is still in bloom. I think the rats have contributed to eating some of the okra fruits, though. But my goal for today is to drastically trim back all these bean plants. They haven't produced in a few months and they're coming all the way out into the walkway, blocking my walkway. And so these two big beds in the middle are my main focus for today. All these beans I'm going to trim way back. I'm going to leave them though because I'm hoping that they will get a second life and start producing more beans again. But you can see that they are just huge and forest-like here. The tomato plants are still struggling but never produced any fruit. If they look okay, I'm probably going to leave them there in the hopes that in the cooler weather they may begin to produce. In this bed, the tomato plants are all but dead. I'm going to tear those out. Along with the bean plants, they're not looking so well either. But I am going to leave these bell pepper plants. They're chocolate beauty bell peppers. and. The plants are okay looking still, and I'm hoping that at some point they will produce. There's one more over here. I'll show you what I'm doing here. I got a piece of plywood just to set everything that I trim on so I don't have to scoop it up out of the gravel rocks when I'm done. And I've got a pair of pruners. These aren't my ideal choice. I like a nice sharp pair of pruners, but when other people use them, they don't always get put back. So this is our little chicken wire fence around the garden, and this is all the overgrowth. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling everything back and clipping it at the areas where it comes through the chicken wire. I'm wearing a pair of gloves because I don't like surprise visits from spiders. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. So I'm just cutting these to get them away from the fence and pulling them away. And I'll do this down the whole line. It never fails when you're working in the garden that you get some help. So here we've got one helping hold down the board. And I've got one over here helping me trim up the plants, another one helping pull them away, and you can see underneath here we've got a whole bunch of leaves, just dead leaves down here, and so I'm going to be picking them up and putting them right back into the garden. They make excellent mulch, so that goes right back in there and that'll help get us prepared for the next season. The other thing we need to do is take off all the little plastic clamps that we used early in the season to help put all the the vines up onto the fence and so this is part of just getting ready for our fall garden getting things cleaned up and tidied we want to add a bunch of compost and mulch to get the beds nice and healthy and have them ready for new plants to go in we're making the decision to take the beans out completely. Now, beans add nitrogen to the soil, but they don't do that until they're dead and the roots go back into the earth. So right here, we're going to cut the base of the plant, but we're not going to pull it up. I've got my helper here. And then we just roll back until we get to the next plant, and then we're cutting the base again. Where's the next one? Do you see it? And so we're leaving the roots. The roots will go back into the soil and they add nitrogen. There's a big ball of a mess here. We're trying to roll back. Okay, where's the next one? Bye, bye. 
Amber. Okay, I got quite a bit done out here. You can see I cleared up a lot of the side, but I still need to pick up more leaves. I'm running short on time, mostly because we have a storm blowing in right now. Um, one of our famous August monsoon storms is coming, so I'm going to have to just work on getting everything um, braced as much as possible. This is pretty cool. This is the okra. Look how thick that base is there. That's probably an inch and a half in diameter. That's pretty thick, but you can see it's already leaning in the wind. The wind is starting to pick up pretty well, but we got this all cleared out, and while we did that, I discovered that we actually have probably been overwatering. If we clear away the mulch, we've done a good job of keeping the mulch nice and thick. But you can see that this soil down here is really rich, but it's also pretty wet. So, oh, there's an earthworm in there. We always love to see those. But um, I'm going to come back to watering again. Um, right now we're watering twice a day, five minutes each time. But I'm going to make it once a day, five minutes. Um, let's see over here. This bed is pretty much all cleared out now. So my next steps are to um, finish pruning the tomato plants that really don't look very good but I'm going to keep pruning them back and then I'm going to cut back the water. Next I'll pull back the mulch and I'll add a whole bunch of compost and then put the mulch back and we'll be about ready for our fall planting. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates.